According to writer-director Garson Kanan, he's the one who actually wrote the screenplay of this film, basing it on the original stage version of Born Yesterday, which he had written. However, you don't see his name listed in the credits for having penned that screenplay. In his autobiography, Kanan says that when Columbia Pictures bought the film rights to his play, the studio had another writer do the adaptation. But the director of the movie, George Cukor, didn't like that screenplay. He felt that too much of the spirit of Kanan's play was missing. So Cukor went to Columbia studio boss Harry Cohn and asked if Garson Kanan could do a rewrite. Cohen said okay, but he made it clear he didn't have the money to pay Kanan his usual fee, and besides, there were legal entanglements that wouldn't allow Kanan to receive a screen credit for it. Kanan says he did the rewrite, although the full credit went instead to Albert Mannheimer, who ironically went on to receive an Oscar nomination for the screenplay that Kanan says Mannheimer didn't write. Up next, a major switching of gears. We go to the TCM Underground for an exploitation film from the 1970s, directed by Duke Mitchell, known in some quarters as The Executioner, in others as Massacre Mafia Style. Tonight on TCM Underground, Duke Mitchell tries to murder his way to the top in Massacre Mafia Style. Then Rod Steiger becomes public enemy number one as Al Capone. And Rex Harrison is dying to get rich in the honeypot. <laughs> 